PK versus Death Prophet. I'm not expecting a whole lot of bloodshed here, but if one of these two do leave the lane, we could see some towers fall. Uh, we got three lanes, but two eyes, so try your best to keep the action here. Top, though, very frisky action breaking out. And a lot of focus going to be set as they get the takedown of Ninja Boogie. He'll be the first to fall. Lanham picks up your first blood on that Dark Willow. Jazz They're gonna going to get the TP out, and they'll get it. One more right click, and the crowd comes alive. Yeah, this uh, tri lane is really strong. I love Dark Willows in the in the tri lane. It's pretty hard to take down. You have a Cursed Crown, which you can cast on one hero, and if they uh, clump up together... Here we go. Omni Knight. K.A. Ice, Ice, Ice. Feeling a bit frisky here, but bottom, they're making the move for Mushi. Light it up with the kinetic field. They'll be able to bring him down. Vici continue their assault as they move forward, looking to go for jabs. They get some right-click damage in, but another one for Vici as they move ahead now 3-0. Yeah, but it's not too much happening uh, as expected. Uh, I mean, you can look at the heroes. D DP on the mid lane uh, getting pressured a little bit with uh, Nyx Assassin, but Nyx Assassin is not a hero that uh, ganks really well early on. I mean, yeah. now with the invis, that could change. Mid lane, though. All right. Yeah, just, just scratching the Dragonite. Yeah, nothing too serious here. I mean, Dragonite will commit his first... Elder Dragon form of the game and begin to torch up some wolves nearby for some extra bit of farm. Meanwhile, top lane! Jabs! Helps get the last hit in. And a dunking heel comes out from Ice Ice Ice. We'll secure the takedown of the lone druid and get Mineski on the board with one kill. Afraid of uh, getting ganked because he has double Savage Roar, but with Nyx Assassin Invis, it's... Uh, <laughs> I guess he didn't expect that bottom lane disruptor. Yep, they hit him. With the stun, with the Nightmare, and Paparazzi will come in to finish the job. Ninja Boogie knows that he's done for, tries to get off as much damage, damage as he can on the Lanham, but obviously not going to be doing a whole lot. And another kill. Nick's assassin friend. But Mushi's not farming. That's, that's the downside here. Now he does a little bit of the Rocket Barrage, but it might be too much. He needs some help. Jabzo spotted and caught within a maze. Now an additional. Reinforcement. Oh my goodness, where'd she come from? Running right in with a haste rune, showing up with a soul siphon. Begins to put attention right on the Mushi Mushi. Gets the help with a repel as Ice 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 comes into the playing field. Lots of attention towards the bottom lane now. They trade cores on each side. Jabs very low. Has to pop the wand to heal on up. They want to use this uh, Omni Knight who has uh, level 4 heal, almost level 9. We'll need to get one point in Guardian Angel to mitigate the damage coming uh, out from uh, DP ulti. Just got level 9, and he does put a point into the GA. Fortify comes out, and Mineski rotate most over, with the exception of the DK, who does not have a TP to come in. They quickly blow up Lanham. Dark Willow out, and poor Jabs is trapped within the trees. He will also pay the price. Supports each way. Those are not allied creeps. Here comes DK now, the TP off cooldown, looking to come into action. A lot of damage on the Ice Ice Ice. Death Prophet Ulti here for a job, and that job is breaking through this tower if possible. Mineski not looking to let it happen. So one is going to run out pretty soon. Yeah, I was going to say a couple there from Mineski, but the refresh the new ward. They're looking to go for a finish on the bear. Lots of extra damage, but the first grip comes out from Fenrir, and he will get the secure takedown of Ice Ice Ice. Oh no! A root as well! On to Moot! Mushi gonna be forced to dish out the call down and the flat cannon. Getting off some good damage. Vici though, not really feeling it. Does feel like Vici with those tools are able to kind of dictate what fights they want to take and what fights they don't want to take. This one seems like a good one. Paparazzi able to get the finish onto Jabs in the meantime, but we continue witness here as they get the double takedown. Now on move, Vici, yeah. stellar early game already. Towards the mid lane, they dish out a scan right behind the tower. It's not going to find any reads, but they're going to know that they can comfortably move in and take yet another objective and put even more money in the bank, even taking the extra catapult to get the job done. Stun out from Jabs could lead to his own demise. They put him to sleep. Meanwhile, they put their attention on the ice, ice, ice. Glimpse all the way back there. Grabs Fenrir in a bit of an awkward spot. And he gets shot on down. It's Ice 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 who picks up the last hit with the Purification Tower. Not going to be denied. Ori grabs that one. And now they're thinking about re-engaging here. A hard move in. A pop out from the Life Stealer. Full force onto Moon. The Dragon Knight. Going to get slayed.
follow-up takedown looks like to be here for Ice Ice Ice. He can't even guard an angel. The They're man is silenced and finished. Yeah, they're doing such a good job controlling the Omni Knight. First with the silence, uh, then with the Yule Scepter, so he can't cast any spell. Plus the Terrorize, I'm not sure if it hit hit or not. Uh, also, Bane was caught before that fight, so Weechi Gaming has so much options to control this fight with. Like in one of the previous games where yeah. he gets on top of Gyrocopter and just destroys him. And that it was... also gives you better positioning for Bramble Maze and, uh, and also the first round. Uh-oh, Bane's grip. A good catch onto jabs. DP, but uh, they don't want to commit yet. Uh, level 2 Exorcism will deal a ton of damage oh, in the fights. Ice. Bottom lane. Baiting him in. Baiting in 11 if possible. Now the jump of Moon. And they'll even commit the Static Storm. A successful takedown earns Mineski a four times killing streak bounty. If she wasn't hard enough to bring down. And frantic flash farming to come out here from uh, Mineski's side as well. Uh oh. Looks like Fenrir on his own little mission, awarding expedition, I imagine. Gets spotted, taken down. Lots of farm potential coming his way. Meanwhile, we see Mineski charging forward, going back on the objective path here. We'll get the finish of a tier one. Uh oh. Nice jump play to go right on top of Eleven's head. They'll be able to go for the bursting finish, but Vici want to counter. Oh, DP was sent back. Uh, she committed ulti. Nice. He's gonna need to get the, a defensive item, definitely. Either a four staff to position himself, or maybe Eon disc so they can't burst him with the oh. with the Bane's grip. Spotted Ninja Boogie, of course, with that ward. And that will be a quick blow up right there from Paparazzi. Well, Dragonite with the with the BKB. Yep. Ice 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 has his Radiance, and they're moving in. Jab sets it up, and they look to get Midian's focus on the Lanham. He goes into Shadow Realm, barely holding on. But as he makes his return, it looks like they should be able to go for the finish. The first casualty of this one. And now focus, heavy focus, onto 11. He goes down yet again. Stag Storm dropped. Not going to find the biggest target there. Meanwhile, Paparazzi looking to go for a swing in. Uh, they got the Yules to cancel the TP, but it looks like they will be able to burn through that first Aegis. On his return, he jumps in, looking to go for the grab. Does fly out. Radiant, find no detection on one side. But they're also not finding a target to get the jump on. Oh, oh what a play. I, I jinxed up too soon. An immediate move in for Paparazzi. And they're going to get that kill too. Things suddenly coming together a lot nicely for yeah. Mineski. Disruptor with that static storm, so Nikes can't use the rage. Oh, Rocket now on to 11 next. They catch him with the stun. They try to send him away. Moon pops the BKB and begins to unload the damage. That's going to be one takedown. Japs could be next. Nice grab there from Ori with the Crypt Swarm. We'll get it done. Follow up. Purification finish to take out Fenrir. And bodies begin to drop. His land will also go down. And it looks like this could turn into yet a five man white. Going the way of Mineski and a double kill for Moon. Looks like Mineski are right back in the ball game with a 1k net with advantage. This one's been flipped right back around. Yeah, the Mineski's decision making was on point and Nikes was playing way too cocky there. Just trying to juke with them with that ancient prowler. Oh my, I think Vici Gaming getting a little ahead of themselves. Uh, they don't know that though, and I'm sure Vici want to maintain order if possible. Go for a good fight here and hope to move into that Roche territory. Oh, jabs. Could spot them out. They pop the dust, but he already hits him with a stun. This could be great for Mineski. Jump in from Ori with the BKB. Static Storm going to be dropped. They quickly take out Lanham. It will cost them jabs on the return. Buyback comes out from Lanham to get back in the action. They put their full chase now onto Ori. Mineski will finish off the Death Prophet. Paparazzi trying to swing, but he knows it's going to be no good. Vici may be forced to turn and run, but they're hoping for a finish onto Moon if possible with Lanham coming back into action. He's able to secure it. This one may look nice for Vici. A double kill already, and Ice 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 will go down next. Vici Gaming back in it now. Triple kill for Paparazzi. The AC. Look at the pings coming out from Ninja Boogie. Look at this. They just go round and round. It's like a do si do. Straight up country dance happening here. Lanham into pit. And then the DK jumps in, looking to go for Lanham. He'll have no buyback this time. BKB going to be popped, but they briefly put him to sleep. He's going to be out for a minute. Oh, full attention onto Ori. This looks like Mineski's time. Guardian Angel already going to be committed, and they blow up the Death Prophet. Now, moving on Forn, taking names. 11 to the high ground, trying to retreat, but he's not going to be able to make it too far. Mineski take this fight and could take the Roche.
Back and forth we go. See what Mineski opt to do here. You gotta feel that their tension is towards taking a fight if possible, and if they can't find any openings outside the base of Vici, they might just consider moving in and going for a push. Oh, a jump in opportunity. Follow the static storm, they found Paparazzi. Trying to go for the save, but he's not gonna be saved at all. And now, 76 seconds, no buyback on your Paparazzi Lifestealer. Oh, look at the positioning from Nick's Assassin, already from behind, waiting someone to TP to, the, to that tier 3 tower. Uh, Eleven's going in on the racks at the top lane too. So we're seeing a bit of a split. Meanwhile, DP moving in, trying to cancel out anything they can. They, look, they got a hold of Moon, and they'll take out the DK. And Eleven makes it out. And they might know that Mineski approaching the area. It's going to be a head-on collision. An immediate pop of the dust. They're looking to make the move onto Jabs. Bramble May is going to be took down from Lanham, but look at Ice Ice Ice. He's just running on forward, looking to go for Fenrir. Glimpse pullback as they look to bring down the Paparazzi Lifestealer. They will do so. Mineski swarm on in. Lanham also going to get dropped by back from Jabs. Swing this one out. Ori going toe to toe with Mushi. They will score the takedown on the Gyrocopter. Ice 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 barely holding on to this one. Fenrir wants to move in for the finish, but he's not going to be able to get it. Meanwhile, 11. TP's out, he is the lone survivor. And Mineski take another promising fight, a triple kill. And look at Moon go to work on this bottom tier three. They're gonna force out a buyback now from Ori. He jumps in with the Shivas, but Moon already jumped forward with his Dragon Tail onto 11. A glimpse send back, puts Lanham back inside the base. BKB's popped, they're looking to move in for 11. Meanwhile, Ori does get the finish on the Ninja Boogie, but they put their attention now onto Ori. Trying to burst down, terrorized from Lanham. Three man terrorized. Pushes him back in away, and it's going to be enough to force Miniski back. And here comes the round two from VG Gaming. They'll be able to get the finish on the Ice Ice Ice. Jabs though. Not going to go for the finish. Can't quite get Ori. Ori still lives. Ori running back into the base. They finally get him down. But it's costing Mineski a whole lot. They lose four. Oh man. Make it five. Follow-up stun catch with that cursed crown. Lanham putting in the work. Meanwhile, pressure coming in. Moon forced to buy back. Vici on the assault again. Ninja Boy going to get just gobbled up from Paparazzi. But they look to get their focus on the 11, and they'll get the finish on that side. Obviously, Mineski have to know. Vici's just on the outside. This Roche is getting low. They're deciding to move in. Ori pops everything he's got to move in and is able to take down Jack. They're looking to move inside. Aegis is going to be claimed for Mushi, though. This one belongs to Mineski. Now Guardian Angel comes out. Mushi locked in his spot with the Fiend's grip. It looks so like he'll lose his first life, but he's trying to fight through it. He's living, barely holding on as he flat cannons his way. Will finally be brought down. Beachy Gaming lose 11. They still hold everyone else. Moving in is Lanham, trying to focus everything they got. The cheese going to be gobbled down from Ice Ice Ice. He holds on barely, Ori, trying to do the most that he can with the exorcism. Soul siphons up, but now he's locked between two as they slowly beat him down. Moon steps in, and they should be able to get the finish. Now he's not kill. For the finish, EG Gaming, can they hold? Jump in already. Can they get the burst? On to Fenrir, terrorize. But it's too late. Meanwhile, Paparazzi will be able to burst and take out Ice Ice Ice, but he's buying back. Mineski want the finish. He's steeping, has boots of travel. And he's back. No Guardian Angel, obviously. Fortify used. Mushi, hit with a Lotus Sword. Tries to go in on the tower. He's eating a lot of damage, but now the support comes out. They force him to the low ground. They want to kill the Shrines. They don't want to risk it now. I think it's pinked out from Fenrir. They want to go on Ori. They're going in right for Ori. They drop down that Ag Stag Storm right on top of his head. Paparazzi looking in, but he Sweet. can't find anyone. He can't find a target. Looking to settle for Mushi, but Ori's already gone. And Vici are now down one, almost down a bear as well. They're able to make it to the high ground, but Jabs is in pursuit. Oh. <laughs> they don't have the best save. They only have... Uh... Nightmare, that's it. Now they're gonna probably just take the Roche. Lanham gets a kill on the Ninja Boogie. Boogie. All right, that's a turnaround. He does have a buyback though. Moves in now from Moon. They see Paparazzi, they lock him down. He's gone. He does have a buyback and they use it. Uh, this is good for Vici Gaming. 50, I mean, 58 seconds uh, is a long time. Uh, they dropped the gem. Where is that gem? Not sure, but. Frantically, Mineski right. heading to the Roche Pit and they change their mind. Jabs spots him out. Two man stun from Jabs to set this one up. Guardian Angel comes out from Ice Ice Ice. Follow up Paparazzi buyback. That's die a dieback. It's over. It could be over. 
Fenrir moving in with the Fiend's Grip, trying to go for the finish on Moon, but it's not going to be good enough, and Mushi begins to clean things up. Sweeping through his mop, the Janitor goes to work, and that is it, Beachy Gaming. They hold as long as they can, but they can't hold long enough. Mineski have done it. In a wonderful back and forth game. Yeah, the, the top lane, they don't have too much kill potential. Uh, Void went for two points in time lock, uh, Witch Doctor still no points, and Maledict, I guess he's gonna get one on level three. Okay. Like, you wanna have it. Mini Rocket Barrage here, some damage on the Ori, but they're feeling pretty good to turn it around with the Curse Crown. Here comes Jabs, though. I don't think they were suspecting this guy to show up, but they are gonna be able to get that finish. The Paparazzi gets stunned, he's winning. The CS game at the moment, 41-5 to Sand Kings 29-4 on the other side. Here comes a rocket. Looks like he finally put a level into it, but it's Mushi in trouble because Fenrir shows up. He's got coconuts to play with. Going for the finish. They'll finally get it done. Ice Ice Ice, though, will continue to get a lot of farm on his Sand King. It looks like he's just going to go straight for that Blink Dagger. I wager they're going to want to put it to use right away. Meanwhile, mid lane, 11. Nice trap out from Jabs with the shards through those camps, but it looks like Ninja Boogie's gonna go all the way towards the mid lane. Maybe hopeful. One trap pop, one shard, nice connection. And with Ninja Boogie, it's gonna take a lot of time to kill him. And a rotation's coming here from the puck. She has coil, but not gonna be able to get anything off. Orbs on four, but there's the coil. Connection on the two, paparazzi. He doesn't even care if he catches his team under the bubble. He just wants to go for the kills, gets one, jabs. Also going to be brought down. Tried to go for the TB, but a good coconut from Fenrir. Locks him in his spot. Good rotations. Coming out from Vici and a good response play. Yeah, they should be careful about uh, going on Underlord. It uh -oh. takes a lot of time to kill it, but uh, the top lane tanking, just uh, pushing the creep wave, pressuring the tower. See Boogie. Telekinesis to low ground. Can he go in somehow for a deny? Take me out, Satyrs. Satyrs, take me. He wants it. Can he get it? No. If Fenrir going to pick that one up. Meanwhile, trouble could come to Mushi on the bottom lane, possibly. Oh, Mushi doesn't have a TP. Yeah, he's stuck behind the tower here. It's something they may have spotted Fenrir. Plants a sentry, knows that there's no vision. Meanwhile, mid lane, 11. Gonna get chucked down. Nice solo pick there for Moon. Yeah, this, this TA is getting out of control slowly. 5,000 net worth uh, oh. already. I mean, Gyro is a hero that comes back into the game easily, even if pressured. There are no stacks for him, uh, but he can fight. That, that's the big, oh, they want big thing about him. They want Gyro. They, they sent in an orb earlier. Now Lanham goes in. He gets spotted. Tries to set out with the Shadow Realm. Gets hit with the stun from Ice Ice Ice. Sandstorm. Lanham. It's got to be dead, right? Uh, Tower. Mana. Oh! He has mana. Yep. No follow up. Stuns there. <laughs> Got very excited over that magic wand pop. Very awkward. They just hit him with the root, hit him with the silence, hit him with the orb. And, well, with the assistance coming in from Lanham, they'll get the swift finish. Jabs just kind of in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Meanwhile, bottom. Bringing the base. Ice, Ice, Ice and company are able to help get the finish on the paparazzi, and now it's Ice, Ice, Ice in trouble. There's the Maldic, there's the Cursed Crown. He stuns right back onto Lanham here, but he's done for. Yeah, meanwhile, they're putting a lot of pressure on him. And they have a good vision on oh. side of Mineski. Epi, jump in. Goes for the kill on the Lanham. Lanham gets the Shadow Realm off. He doesn't have enough on his own to go for the finish. And now he's going to be the one in a bit of trouble. Oh, spoke too soon. Jab steps in with the shards and will help get the takedown. But there's the Chrono. There's the Death War. And that should be an easy twofer, but Snowball will slow things down a bit. He's going up and above. Oh, nice play. Yep. But, oh, oh, it's cute, but it's not going to be enough to survive. But now that the, the Chrono is down, what does Rubik have? Uh, well, nothing. Uh, I thought that he has a Firestorm, maybe. And Mineski will take a very cautious approach to these lanes. Oh, here we go. A bit of a taxi service, it looks like. To the bottom, and right on top of the head of Mushi. Oh man, Mushi doesn't know what the hell hit him. Yeah, that's nicely played. Uh, but uh, they can go for objectives. They don't have uh, any kind of uh, tower damage. Eski with a the smoke themselves now. Looking to respond, knowing that a lot of Vici could be towards the bottom half of the lane. They're looking to make a jump and a hard shot in for 11. We see the Deso going to work, but 
They don't want to keep moving forward. The root from the pit of malice fending them off, and once the rotations come, they do not want to press their luck. Now he's just in a bit of an awkward spot. Uh oh. Tries to continue to hide through the trees, but they'll eventually get him. Fender had a three kill streak. See if they can keep that streak alive here. Continuing to spam out the mid lane pressures, jabs, while rotations from the rest of his team towards this bottom lane. A pursuit from Vici. Lanham with that early blink pickup again. Jumping in, looking to make the go. Ninja steals the coil. Puts it right back onto him, but obviously not going to be able to make it away. We'll have to just take that one on the chip. We'll have to see what kind of possible defense they could pull out if they so choose. Ice 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 position, he's behind him, waiting in top lane. Boone is uh, going for a tier three. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of damage on that Jeez. tower. Underlord using Optic, can they catch someone? Oh, they may have. Meanwhile, Moon, oh, turns around and blows up Lana. Paparazzi not having it, jumping in. Will be able to get the Chrono grab onto Moon and with the assisted Death Ward, they will go for the finish. Mm, gotta say though, Moon definitely yeah, it's, it's still a good trade for uh -oh. the Epi center. Ice, ice, ice. He wants his own bit of vengeance here. Paparazzi gets kicked, gets punched, but not even needing to jump away. He just puts his focus back onto the Tusk now and will take him down. It looks like they're not going to make a smooth approach in. Stuns on the Paparazzi. Armineski going to pull the trigger here. Oh, they spotted out Epi on the one side, they're going to go right in for the Tusk. The Roche gets finished. It is going to get picked up from Paparazzi. Jump all the way across. Ben Rear commits to the Death Ward. Quickly canceled there from Ice Ice Ice. Nice job. The chase is on for Moon. Paparazzi can't find a target. Needs to head the other side. Mineski just really splitting him up right now. Oh, Ninja Moogie. Moving right on in. Dropping his own Firestorm. Follow up. Burrow. There's there. The Aegis. They're going to get the pop of the Aegis on Paparazzi. They're looking to go for 11, but he is so tanky. What the hell with that Crimson Guard? Shrugs off the damage. Another two-man stun. Damn, Ice 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 setting it up right now. Snowball, he brings the crew together, but right into a Chronosphere. Ice 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 got the Yule, slows down Paparazzi. Uppercut onto the big guy. We'll get the finish on 11. Lanham back in action, moving in. Moon pops that BKB. They Looks get to make boy. chase. They have the trap down. Lanham will get dropped. Paparazzi will manage to survive the low. But they might catch Void positioning from Sanking. Has that Epi. He's pinging it out. Oh, he just time walked into the lane. There's Epi coming. Here it comes. Boom. Moves in, and here comes the uppercut. And see you later, Mr. No Face. Yeah, I'm not sure why Gyro used uh, a BKB, but all right. That, that's, that's a big kill for Bineski. Maybe just fear of a terrorize or something coming in from those back lines. I'm not too sure, but they're playing it safe. 11, trying to make it away to the Dark Rift, but you ain't going anywhere, sir. And Mineski going coast to coast. Could be caught along the way. Now a spot on the jabs. Catch him with the Yules. Curse Crown. And they'll take the twofer. Cautious approach towards the mid lane. They ping out 11. Probably not the best target they want to just unload everything onto. They want to go with Sanking Stun, oh. follow up with the Walrus Punch. The Boogie, walking in, the frontliner, Dark Rift, he steals it. <laughs> He's going to jump in, ah. cancels it. They cancel it, and Ninja tries to use Dark Rift himself. Man, if he made it out, that would have been great, but... Okay, counterplay! Mineski jumping right in, leading with the Ice 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 Stun. Coil, on the return, going to get dropped. Ninja Boogie looking to buy back. Chrono, from Paparazzi, earns him the finish on the Tusk, and now he's going to be forced to run out the other side. Beachy on the retreat. Oh. They can see Lanham. Yep. Do they want to jump on the Lanham, though? There's a lot that could be waiting behind her. Oh, Lanham actually jumps in. Vineski don't want this. They split apart. It's frantic right now. Maybe a move. Nice coil. Catches it two cores. And they're forced to man up and try to go into the bunker. Paparazzi steps in. Gets the Chrono onto the two of them. The Firestorm on top as well. And they get the finish on the Mushi. He's the first to go down. And they're going to get as well the takedown of Moon. Mushi should buy back. Yeah, there it comes. Double Everyone buy back. So this is a, definitely a Roche fight. Another. They know that the Chronosphere is down. Uh oh. Ice, ice, ice on the high ground here. Spots him over. Oh, he tried to go for the two-man. 
They only get Fenrir. They pop the dust. There's the cooldown. Fenrir is going to get dropped. Paparazzi jumping back in. Looks to get the focus onto the Sand King. Begins to knock him apart. But Mushi back into play now. BKB and loads the damage. And they'll get the finish onto three. The crowd is silenced once again. A little bit of footsie. The ice, ice, ice. He's waiting on that side. He's charging up the Epi. Moves in. Gets two. Boogie tops it off with a firestorm. Paparazzi jumps in, but he's only got one. And he's but one man. Boogie steals the chrono. Locks down the puck. And Paparazzi, they I don't think he can do it alone. They only walked out four. Buyback now to come out from the Underlord. And it's just the two of them for the defense. Uh, Aegis regeneration on TA. Bramble Maze gets the catch onto Jabs. Paparazzi looking to go for the follow-up. Pops his BKB, a snowball towards the little Seder. I think Jabs is going to have to pay the price here, and he will. Yeah, they're going to have a hard time uh, locking down this faceless void. Uh, 25 backtrack. Oh, jump here and an approach. They're committing the chrono to get ice, ice, ice. That's a gem. Flat, flat, flat. With the bat. Faceless void easily able to right click down the scorpion. And land him. He'll pocket that gem. There's another gem picked up by Rubik. They're going into the road yeah. state, so lanes are again pushed out on side of Mineski. They could get this super fast with the DD, with the yep. TA. Oh, long orb though. They spot it now. They're trying to head there as fast as they can. Coil dropped inside the pit. Anna terrorized with the BKB. Boone. Throwing. Oh, the Chrono! If he can get to the other side, he'll grab it! Paparazzi picks it up. And he begins to right click down. Evo is now going to be stunned up. Can he make it away? Follow-up stuns there. And they'll get Paparazzi yeah. down. The Aegis is going to be expended. But Mineski eating hard shot to full death war from Fenrir. Doing work on Mineski. Mushi going to be finished off. Moon hiding within a pit. Uh -oh. Shows himself. And he'll be there. And now the Firestorm, but they managed to get Paparazzi down. With the assistance coming in from Jabs now locked within the pit. Very awkward trade here. Jabs throws out the punches, but will ultimately be brought down. Wow, what a chrono there. So they managed to pick up uh, Aegis and the uh, Cheese. Roy, Cheese uh, Refresher, I think it was picked up by a Sanking. I think I saw a double stun. I'm not sure, though. It was so close. A nail biter. Now, now Mineski. Gonna be tested on the high ground, but oh, here we go, right into action here with the epicenter. Almost enough, there's enough. to get, get that finish onto 11 and quickly. GT disperse. Uh oh, Fenrir? Oh, got the, got, got the he pulled this. out to Chappie, but he TP'd <laughs> out. Oh. <laughs> MMR is just a number. 35.99 for Quadracana is just a number. 69 is your favorite number. <laughs> Jump in from Ori here. Long orb to possibly get the catch on the jabs. And also a chrono. Get that walrus out of here. Ninja Boogie steals a chrono. <laughs> and then quickly tries to slide away. Then he gets the courier. So if this game drags for another 10 to 15 minutes, the GPM talents are going to kick in. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure about Mineski. Oh no! Ice 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 walks right into a hex! And he's evaporated. On their high ground defense. Yushi with the rapier. Sanking uh, doesn't have a buyback still for another minute and 20 seconds. And he's out 30 seconds. seconds. Until then, jump up into Jibuki with a storm chrono. Oh no! Hex on the Yushi! Before he gets the BKB off. Now he pops it. The Paparazzi he gets it! That's the blink! That, that's the blink fight right there. And 11 says, guys, we gotta go! And they are out. Oh man, that blink deck. Pichi now, way back and away, waiting inside. Do not want to risk Vineski making a hard approach with a rapier, it seems, but they waiting have, out for the smoke. They have double Shivas. Dark Willow blinking in, using Shivas and the Shadow Realm just to provide vision for the Faceless Void. Uh-oh. Double damage. Right in the middle. Somebody wants it. Oh! A Valiant jump in from Drabs to grab it himself. Ninja Bookie stolen with the Dark Rift takes his party all the way back home. You want to go for it. He does. Hits him with the Nullifier. But look it. It's not, it's not doing a lot, man. He's tickling him. He's throwing pillows. He doesn't want to do this anymore. 
Ops to head towards Roche area now. And uh, that is an Aegis for Ori. And Chaps has just thrown himself right into the team. He will be handled and down. Mineski up against the ropes. I mean, he doesn't have gold for it, but... Oh, jump in. Immediate Hex. And Dagan onto Boogie. And now they're beginning to make the move onto the tower. Fortification comes out. Paparazzi time walks himself back. And there's the buyback of the Tusk. A jump in for Moon. They're looking to burst down Paparazzi. And they can't get it. He's able to time walk out and away. And the Crimson Guard's going to be popped. 11 going right back in for the tower. While on the side, terrorized to pop out. Boogie's going to be done. Does have a buyback if necessary. A kick on out. But the Tusk going to be finished off again. Jump in from Ice 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 with the epicenter. A lot of that damage can be mitigated. Jump in. Coil off the mark from Ori. Tier 3 to go down. That was a dieback from uh, Tusk. Now the Raxes are exposed. Beachy will even things up with just one Rax takedown here. Oh, Ice Ice Ice. Hexed up, bursted. He's out. Does have a buyback, uses it. Coil. Stolen. Put back onto the puck. The puck's done with that axe coil. Nice block out. From Another Moon. chrono. He refreshed. Oh, he's got it. This time will lock down Moon and begins to right click at home. And he will not be able to survive. Does have a buyback. 11 on the inside. Finished. To That's the hands of Mushi. Well. Mushi got two. And Eski are holding. Ichi will be forced away. Boogie wants to chase. And they'll find Fenrir. Oh, will they? He <laughs> glimmer capes up. Ah, uh, now he goes too close to the tower. And he'll be taken off. Just for the Bloodthorn nullifier. Jump. Kick. Kick back. Okay. Okay. Oh, Lotus. Forces a snowball onto 11. Very awkward. But they will disperse, avoiding the jump in there from Paparazzi. But the chase is on potentially here from Vici. They can't find a solid target. Looks like Jabs is on one side. Oh, they cancel it with the coil. He blinks away. A long stun will be there, and so will be Lanham. They, they kicked him <laughs> very far. Nice at four. Ooh. Smoke here from Mineski. They're going to see Ori. Jump in. Looking to go for the burst. Fenrir's trying to walk in to assist. He gets hit with the Yules right away. Paparazzi walking in, moving in. Looking to go for a target. Only catches one. But it's Moon. He's trying to right-click him down and not be able to get it done. Another use of the Chrono, not catching on to anyone. Mushi could be next. He's trying to fire power forward with the power of the Satanic and the Divine Raper. Is it going to be good enough? Three-man terror. Oh, no, it's so much from Beachy. And they shred it home. Rapier on the deck. And so are all of Mineski. There is a buyback for Mushi. But there will not be one there from the supports. Gobbles it down. And now they're going in for the jugular. Buyback forced out from Mushi. They gotta do something, but a nice quick jump in from Ori. And a beautiful jump in with a chrono. And they're just gonna be able to hit it home right here. Vici Gaming, they take it to game number three. Whoa. <laughs> 67 minutes was needed for Vici Gaming to close this one. Wow. I mean, Meniski giving him a run for the money there with the benefit of their high ground defense and that rapier. He, of course, uh, not going to be able to bring out too much serious right click damage with an anchor smash there. And yeah, both of them are going to farm on that lane. Uh oh. Can he survive a second time, though? I don't think so. Crush is there. And there's the right click. It's going to be Fenrir who picks up the last hit. Lanham could be next, though. And uh, a nice return fire there from Ninja Boogie. But feels like now for the third game straight, Vici Gaming scored the first blood. Go for Mana Burn or Carapace if he feels threatened. Here comes Ninja Boogie through the mid lane. He's got a smoke. As Paparazzi confidently moving on forward. He'll drop down the early kinetic field. A rotation, though. He's going to be just too late from Fenrir. And he's looking to take out his extra aggression on the Ninja Boogie, who's just going to pop the TP and get out of there. Good gank to the mid lane. Even Hunter. We're going to see some mind games going on. One taking the creep, then the other one just uh, taking it back in again. Ninja Boogie mid lane. Yep. Pull back. Kinetic field. Are they going to get a third takedown on the Paparazzi? Yes, they will. Killing spree for Moon. Okay, Terrorblade says, I guess I'll have to step in. 
He heads that direction, welcomes him with an anchor smash. We see bottom lane, horse back of the Omni Knight. Extra bit of harassment, and here we go. Move in, crush, quick astral though. Drops the hammer, not enough to go for the finish. Lamb tries to make it away, one more right click could do it. Can he juke, hiding behind the trees? Well, Eleven steps in, and a degen aura that's been leveled up. Mushi can't move anywhere. But here comes Jab, steps in. Nice purification. Heels land him up. Here comes Paparazzi. One raise. Second raise. And gets Mushi down. Yeah, meanwhile, top off. Actually, Look at he killed it. The true core here. There's a Ravage. And there's a Static Storm. You take He's our core. Oh, the Thunder. But is it going to be enough? Oh, with Paparazzi showing up, it is. How did this man get up here? Yeah, he, th this uh, Static Storm plus uh, Kinetic Field didn't connect. I think they were way too greedy. They should have just locked him down immediately. Oh man, double old commitment on the Terror Blade and they can't even get him finished? Now Ninja Boogie, you're not, that's not your home. No TP of course, so he's just pulling focus away. But obviously Paparazzi, happy to pop that one down. Obviously wants to get that extra bit of mobility. Picked up in the four staff. Maybe before they do throw down. Looks like our friend Jab's here. Got Vendetta, but it's Paparazzi killing things up. Top lane. Comes across Ninja Boogie and picks off the support. Probably moving through the neighborhood, trying to get some more vision down. Oh, Fenrir. Ah, that's my arcane rune. Ravage, six seconds cooldown. <laughs> he would just use it if it was ready. Dire structures are oh, we have Moon here. Coming across Ori. Ori almost has Metamorph now. He's got it. He could kill this, pop the Metamorph, and make a move towards the bottom lane if they'd like. Look at the amount of damage just from a level 1 corrosive haze. Hits himself with the repel, and that's another static storm committed, but no kill for the follow up. And they may have to just sack this tower. Tidehunter oh. has a Ravage. Or not. Here comes Ice. Jab's looking to set things up first. They put focus on the Titan. And now they're looking to get them terribly. Jump in with the drop of the hammer. They're going to go for the finish. Ice swimming his way on forward. They get the glimpse back, but the repel stops it. But body blocks. Come out and Fenrir tries to pull them further away from the rest of the team. It's a rotation coming out from Mineski that proves a bit profitable as the Prophet gets the most of it with two kills. Yeah, 11 went back in and he got hit by Ravage, so he couldn't use the Purification. Even though Repel was on cooldown, he already used Even if he used the, uh, the heal, Thoroughblade would still probably die. From a Blink Dagger. They might go for, for a Roche, actually. They have enough oh. damage. They have Vision. It looks like on that high ground, spotting Mushi. And Moon's already stepped in. Nice silence. And Static Storm dropped. Paparazzi, though, with that new BKB. Unleashes it. They're going to be able to take the... Take down the Omni Knight. Paparazzi looking to go for the Requiem. Blows up Moon. That's Taking huge one for kill. One. No Ravage expended yet as Mineski pull off. Immediate Fortify here. Rotation's coming. I think a fight is going to happen. Jabs leads in. Good stun. Good static. Good Ravage. Can they finish him off? With the hammer drop, it's going to be the Omni. The first one to fall yet again. Ori looking to backpedal here with Paparazzi. They try to split it. Fenrir turning around. Crush, though, with the disruption. Moon steps in, and they're going to get the finish on the Terror Blade. This one's looking good for Mineski. Pull back from Lanham, and they'll take him out, too. Double kill for Ice, Ice, Ice. I don't know. They're pushing uh, Tier 1 towers. They have no sentries against uh, Nyx Assassin, and uh, again, positioning from 11. Bottom lane, Mushi might feel comfortable under that Tier 2, but what he doesn't know is Lanham's coming from the north. He might just blink into the trees. Nice blink back from Mushi. He read that one like a book. Uh oh, on the other side, Ice Ice Ice, Static Storm, he also has a Ravage. And uh, again, your Omni Knight, the first one to drop. Nice glimpse back onto Fenrir, and Mineski will scrap more. We have to see what Vici can do to hold the base. As already, they're Tier 3 under Serious Assault, Terrorblade, 20 seconds. Doesn't want to have to use a buyback here, but is at risk of losing some serious base work. Move in, Static Storm, but it's actually Vici, could be in trouble. Astral though, Paparazzi waits with the Requiem, blows Mushi up. Ravage follow-up though from Ice 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 will help hit it home for Mineski as they drop them both. 
Limps back onto Fenrir, and he's going to be the third casualty. And with Moon still in the action, buybacks are going to have to be forced to him. Of Ice 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 to the point he's at. I mean, there's a bigger threat of a Tide Hunter. If they're left in the same position, uh, Tide Hunter will provide you more. Quadrant the comeback now. They smoke and they move as a posse all the way down through this bottom lane where Moon is pushing forward. Moon lingers around. He could be in a bit of trouble. Here comes Paparazzi to scout him out. Hiding within the trees. Here comes the Requiem. Jump in crush and they'll blow him up. Oh, a Ravage, but the BKB was there. Now Mineski not able to find the opening they've been. Daunt getting so far. Ice 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 is so tanky. He's like, come on, swim with me. And yeah, that's uh, exactly what I talked about. Uh, a pickup with the uh, big Requiem and now they can go for the towers. Oh, Lanham finds an opportunity to make the move for Mushi. Gives him the Cross of Haze. Oh, but now finds himself in a bit of trouble. Jump in from Ice Ice Ice. That blink. And the problem Gabs, is... Oops. Limps back into a static storm. That's your Omni Knight. He's got a BKB though. Pops it. Turns his attention right on to Mushi. And Paparazzi's following up with the right click. And uh, they can't stop him. He can't quite make it away. He's trying. With the Force Staff will help. He turns around. And he goes ahead and sends an Astral onto the Omni Knight. There's the drop, one more right click, and he is out. Metamorph to Ori and Paparazzi trying to do the right clicks, but this Tide Hunter is just so damn tanky. Reflections are not doing anything. Glimpse back, Ori locked within the kinetic field, jumping from Lanham, gets the crush. Will they finally break him down? Yes, they will. With the Silver Edge, it makes it a lot easier. And now a follow-up. They're looking to go for Mushi. Mushi on the back of a pipe, nice Astral. He blinks and makes it away. Yeah, this is a good fight. With that uh, Silver Edge, they can actually get the get the Tide oh, Hunter. Oh. Nice silence right before the crush there for Moon to bail out Boogie. Oh, but Paparazzi moves in with the right click damage and gets it finished. Moon jumps back in. BKB popped. More to fall here. Paparazzi decides to peace out. Oh, oh she gets him. No, he's used too many BKBs. So he's caught with the Yules and finished off. Oh, that's, that's a great kill. Round up and potentially behind or VT Gaming currently are. Okay, well, <laughs> Fenrir is gonna be the one to tank the gank. Keeps the lane pushed back. Now pressure coming into the mid lane here. Ori and 11, 11 hit, gives him the repel. But here comes Mushi and possibly a flank here from Paparazzi and Lanham on the side. Gabs is nearby though, he's got the Lotus Orb. Stalking him in. There's going to be the, the combo. Crush. Jump in. Ori, BKB. They might focus one. They'll get two. Ori with both of them. Jump in Static Storm. Lots of damage on the Ice Ice Ice. They can't quite finish him, though. Lanham, though, wants to help. Sets it up with a nice crush. There's the Ravage, but he falls There's right after. Crit. Turn around for Mushi. He'll get the support, but that's it. There's Mineski. Ninja Boogie leading out the front. He has a gem now. I don't want to hand that one over, but... Radiant are scanning. They dish out a scan. It just misses him from behind. Oh, Ward on the high ground. Are they going to go for this? Jump in, Ravage comes out. Follow-up, Static Storm. Here we go. Vineski, kick in the front door and say, how you doing there, Vici? Oh, what a play from Vici, man. That smoke. High ground Ward, the Tide Hunter with the Blink Dagger. They need to buy back. They do. And now it could be trouble here. They're trying to get a hold. Of Ice Ice Ice, but the Astral save that you were calling for for Mushi's there. And now they have to pull their focus. Mushi slides himself to the low ground. Jabs waiting in the middle. Hiding under that Vendetta. Maybe looking for an opening, or he's very low. Still has that Sunder though. They don't have DP ulti, but they still have uh, Aegis on OD and the uh, Cheese on DP. Like, if meta is down, they oh, the, the lanes are pushed out for for mm. Vici, so they will back out, uh, regroup, go with the next DP ulti. Oh, man. And there's the initiation tool that they needed. Uh, it was, what, Ooh, fifth century, item? Century, century on the mid lane. They spot Paparazzi, but they've already made their move. There is a Static Storm in response, and there's the Astral save. Maneski in position and ready to counter. Taking out Lanham, following it up with a Fenrir takedown. Mushi gets both. Glimpse back for 11. And it looks like he'll be the third. Can he make it away, though, on the back of a Repel? He has another BKB. He's running. He BKBs, and he'll TP. Oh. Oh! BG Gaming quickly Delta split, it looks like, but some of them still congregate around this mid lane. Paparazzi's been spotted. A move in. A BKB pop, though. They could quickly step back and wait for the BKB to cancel. Or do they? Jump in now from Ori. Hard shots on the jabs. 
They may have to sack him and they will. Jazz has a buyback. Gem drop. Isisite picks it up. Oh, Arcane Rune for the Death Prophet. And she's going to use the Exorcism. All right, Beachy. This one's on you. They ward the high ground. It spots them all out. Not clump, though. That may have been a possible jump from Mineski if they were clumped together, but... Now Vici can make a cautious approach here. What are they going to do? Bushi's waiting on the outside. The Roche is going down. They're sending in. Little creeps, they spotted Mushi. There's the Ravage, though. All BKBs have been popped to avoid the stun. Roche is going to be dropped. The Pressure Shard going to be picked up. Boone grabs the Aegis. And now they move in. And they've got the Knights down. And now here comes Mineski. Looking for the final stretch if possible. They get the takedown. Little Fenrir, who has a buyback, but Omni does not have a buyback. He's out for nearly 80 seconds. Paparazzi trying to solo kill Disruptor with uh, with that build, Bloodthorn plus uh, Nullifier. He can get him. He does, but immediate buyback from Ninja Bookie here. So they have two cheeses, one Aegis, and one Refresher Shard. They trade it out. Paparazzi pinged. Hiding in a viz. There's the Plate of Greaves. Gonna be popped. Paparazzi already commits his BKB. It has to backpedal. With the Astral coming out on the moon, he's going to be safe. They can't fight into this. She's got so many lives now with the Cheese, with the Aegis. And then a Refresher shard to use on back of this. PG got to do something. They move in. BKB Metamorph. Looking to fight on forward, but look at Mineski just backpedal here. Now they're focused, though, onto the tide. He's able to get the Ravage up, follow up, Static Storm. Good Guardian Angel, but boom! Mushi! Drops down the toolbox, not just the hammer, and kicks Vici Gaming down to the bottom bracket. Yeah, they, at one point, it just became, became too scary. They didn't uh, utilize uh, their lineup that they...